Hey, what's going on, everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit. I am joined with Josh Crisp, and today we're going to be talking all about how to scale your Amazon business. So this is our fourth workshop. So this is uh, part four or four right now. Um, you know, we we covered uh, uh, in our first workshop how to research the best products to you know build, grow, and scale a private label business. Then we talked about sourcing. So we talked exactly about how Josh sources products from websites as, such as Alibaba. Dot com and then yesterday we talked about the micro launch how to launch a product on a shoestring budget and today we're talking about how to skyrocket and scale your Amazon business so quick introduction we have my friend Josh here Josh has been selling on Amazon for over five years he runs what's known as a private label Amazon business which in turn means he goes and he sources and he finds and he locates products that he can improve upon or uh, products that just aren't really in the market in the United States. And he sources them overseas on a website called Alibaba.com. He brings them to Amazon. He optimizes the listings. He brings them to the market. He promotes them. And that's essentially how he makes his money. He's sold over $11.2 million over the last five plus years. He's done almost over 3 million over the last year. So really grateful and privileged to have Josh on the video and taking his time to be able to teach you guys during this 100% free webinar. Um, in four part workshop. So what's going on, Josh? How have you been doing, man? Fantastic, man. Excited to be here. And I see G GPO 408 said that he's taking notes like money makers. So guys, make sure <laughs> that you are taking notes because note takers are money makers. If this is your first time, you guys want to definitely make sure that you follow up after this video with the other previous videos. So that way you guys can understand the formula, man. And I'm just excited to be here, Steve, and, and to get, dive into what's one of my favorite um, parts of the entire process, which is the skyrocket and scale. Because when you get into this phase, that means you, the hard work's done. You've already found the product. You found the supplier. The product's launched. You verified and validated. You got sales coming in. Now is the fun part. This is where we throw the gasoline on the fire and we throw everything that we got at Amazon's A9 algorithm to skyrocket and scale our listings. So super excited, brother. Awesome. It looks like we already got GPO in the house saying he purchased Jungle Scout. So I already know GPO 4A is, is researching. He's taking the knowledge that we taught in workshop number one, which you can find on my channel, workshop one, two, three, and this one. It's going to be up for another week. So be sure to actually less than a week. It's probably going to be four or five days, maybe less than that. Um, it's going to be up until the next webinar. What is this next webinar that I'm talking about? So I want you guys to go to the first link in the description right now because every workshop video we've done, one, two, three, and four, is building upon a webinar which is going down on May 12th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So Josh, can you share with everybody before we get into things, why is it important they join this webinar and how does this workshop that everyone's been going through play a role in this webinar on May 12th? Absolutely. So if you guys have been getting gems so far, guys, we're literally just scratching the surface. And this free web class that we're going to be doing on May 12th is literally going to show you how everything goes together, how all the pieces to the puzzle fit together and how this machine works. And it's called the AMZ formula, right? So it's absolutely amazing. And we're going to break things down even more in depth, step by step, where we're sharing my screen, where I'm showing you slides and we're giving you the entire process. On top of that, we're definitely going to dive into some mindset stuff as well. So you definitely do not want to miss out. You guys can go ahead and hit that first link um, in the description. It'll take you to this um, screen right here, guys. It literally takes less than 60 seconds to go ahead and register. You guys have nothing to lose and possibly everything to gain. So me and Steve will both be there live. And uh, at the end of this, we're going to have even more Q&A. So if you guys are interested, you guys have been getting some game, taking some notes, and you guys want to learn more, this is a perfect chance because we're going to go deep, pull back the curtains on my seven-figure Amazon business and show you guys copy by, uh, copy by paste, click by click exactly what to do. And I also want to let everybody know, for the folks who stay till the end, we're going to be giving away a couple more $25 PayPal stimulus plans. That's the, that's the, new, uh, <laughs> that's the new thing that we're calling it. So... For all the people who want on workshop one, two, and three, my assistant just sent me over all of your guys and gals' emails. So we're going to be sending out those payments after tonight so we can pay everybody out all at once. So stick around till the end. Leave a comment because if you comment, if you get if you get involved, you have a better chance at winning because a lot of times we're giving it away to someone who has you know asked a question or someone who's participated because that's what it's all about. You don't want to sit back and passively listen. 
Nobody gets rewarded for passively listening in life. It's the folks who take action. And like Josh has been saying, you know, the, the note takers are the money makers. And, you know, that's just one form of taking action and really applying yourself. So, Josh, let's get into things. And again, hopefully everyone signed up for the webinar, rakingprofit.com slash FBA training. Those seats are limited. There is no replay. So I just want to be straightforward with you folks about that. Smash that like button if you're ready to get into the show. And let's kind of talk about right now what this whole skyrocket and scale, skyrocket and scale strategy is all about because I know this is something that you are extremely passionate about. And matter of fact, last night, my buddy Pedro came into the workshop, workshop number three, when we were talking about the micro launch. And he asked a question about what was the best way to go from, I believe, six to seven, seven to eight figures. And Josh went on about a 15 minute rant because he's so passionate about scaling because this is what you're doing in your business. So I know you're going to have no time. You're going to have no hard time creating content about this topic. So let's get into it. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So skyrocket and scale is uh, the final strategy. So this business is very easy to scale because it's literally rinse and repeat. You find a product, you find the supplier, you test the product, you verify and validate it, you scale that product, then you rinse and repeat right back to the beginning. And that's how you scale this company, this brand, this business from zero to hero, from five to six, six to seven figures and beyond. It's just a matter of of finding more SKUs, introducing more SKUs. So once we skyrocket and scale, we kind of hit on this a little bit yesterday. The first and easiest way to scale your Amazon business is to launch more SKUs. And one of my favorite strategies is just asking my supplier for their catalog or asking them for other potential products that other Amazon sellers are ordering that are performing very well. And that's the quickest way because now you can actually cut the first and the second step, which is product research and finding the supplier out of the equation because you have the supplier relationship and they have a list of uh, products in their catalog. So it's all downhill from finding that first product. So we go and we ask them for a catalog. We comb through their catalog of products, so on and so forth. And if none of them make sense, then we go back to the research phase. But how do we skyrocket and scale our current listing? We found the product, found the supplier, launched it. We're getting some sales. We got five days worth of consecutive sales. What do we do next? Because we want to find what's called a ceiling for our product. So what is a ceiling for our product? Every brand, every business owner wants to sell as much stuff as humanly possible. But usually there is a ceiling on the capacity of that product. So what we want to do first and foremost is we want to increase our budgets on our PPC campaigns, which are called pay-per-click campaigns. This is the... Um, the marketing uh, tools that are built within Seller Central, which is like eBay, uh, eBay's dashboard, right? That's But Amazon Seller Central is the dashboard where you run your entire business. So first and foremost, we want to continuously increase our bids and our amount that we're spending daily until we meet that ceiling. So what does a ceiling look like with PPC? So if we're spending $25 a day and we bump it up to 50 and then 75 and 100 and we're still profitable or break even and we continue to, to scale it, but we notice that it's not spending, that's a ceiling because there's only so many impressions, there's only, only so much search volume. So once we get to that number where if we're at 100 and we're spending 100 consistently, but we go to 120 and it's still 100, 150 and it's still 100, that's the ceiling for the advertising in PPC. So once we do that, we want to open up all these other tools. We start. We talked about in... Um, um, and testing in the micro launch using PPC, but also there's other tools within Amazon like giveaways, like lightning deals, like seven day deals, uh, formerly known as daily deals. And these are some very powerful yet very simple to use tools within Amazon that literally takes seconds to start where you can get your product in front of more Amazon customers. And daily deals and lightning deals, they're very powerful because they're on the homepage where literally tens of millions of shoppers are coming and they're looking for those deals. They're looking for these up and coming products. They're looking for products that they may want to buy at a bargain. So now what we're doing is we're literally, literally exhausting every tool, every resource that Amazon has. And about 80% of everything that you're going to do to skyrocket and scale your SKU, your ASIN, and your business is within Amazon. And that's what usually I teach. But the little 20% is my uh, secret weapon, right? It's the secret sauce that I use going outside of Amazon to help my keyword ranking, to help my organic ranking, and to literally obliterate the competition. Uh, the competition. What do you think, Steve? Should we share it with them, or should Man, I hold it for the class? I, I'm looking for my uh, I'm looking for my slide to throw on the screen. Is it is it this one? 
influencer marketing. Yep. So you think I knew it. We should share them a little bit. We should share the screen and show them a little bit about what it is and why it's important. Or is that too much? Is that too much? If you guys want to learn my secret weapon that I literally use to obliterate competition, where a cost is not an issue, competition is not an issue, and keyword ranking goes through the roof because we're able to get this exterior traffic to Amazon, which their algorithm loves. Go ahead and smash the like button. I want to see a bunch of yeses in the chat room. And if it's okay with Steve, we'll give you a little teaser because I don't want to give you guys too much of the secret uh, sauce, but we'll give yeah. you guys just a little bit. The rest, you're going to have to join the free web class to check out. Yeah, we, we touched on this um, when we were uh, discussing Pedro's question on uh, workshop three when he wanted to learn how to scale from six to seven to eight figures. And we had touched on you know, this secret sauce that Josh uses in all of his businesses and it's influencer marketing. Right now, there is no doubt that advertising amongst all platforms, whether that's Amazon or Facebook or YouTube or Google, is only getting more and more expensive. This is an opportunity that isn't going to be around forever as cheap as it is. Facebook was extremely cheap a couple of years ago, four or five years ago. Now it's getting much more expensive and five years from now, it's probably going to be more expensive. This is an amazing opportunity right now when it comes to scale. So let's dive into it, man. Do you want to do a little screen share and uh, drop some knowledge? Yeah, let me do that, man. We've got a bunch of yeses. Uh, G Pros ready. Courtney, June, B, Roger, Shannon, Mark, Mary, Nancy, Michael. There we go. Everybody's awake. CB, TK, Dave, Villa. All right, let me go ahead and set this up, and we're going to go ahead and dive in. I'm going to show you guys how simple this is. Guys, I'm not tech savvy at all. I don't know any of this computer stuff, and literally, I hire for my other companies people to run my Facebook ads because it's that complicated. Google ads, YouTube ads, I outsource. But when it comes to Amazon ads and when it comes to influencer marketing, I do everything because it's that simple. Yet it is very powerful. And this is my secret weapon. So um, I'm good to go. Do I have to hit? Okay, I have to share my screen. Yeah, right, and then I'll throw you on the screen. Um. And while you're getting that set up, I do want to remind everybody again, if you haven't already, sign up for the webinar on May 12th. This is our last free workshop video. These will be up for a couple more days. I think three or four more days. I said a week before, but um, that was when we first had started. So be sure again to sign up for the webinar. First link in the description. Let me know when you're ready to share your screen and we'll dive right into things. Yeah, we're good to go, brother. Um, let me click share screen. Sweet. Sweet. Uh, Screen oh, there one. We go. Let me know when you can see me. Yes, I can see your screen. Looks like we're on Instagram right now. All right. So first and foremost, a lot of people know me from Instagram and Instagram has been the social media platform that I have mastered over the few years. But before we dive in and I show you guys how to find these influencers that are literally going to print money for you and your company, I want to start by saying, listen, you can use all social media platforms as well as blog sites to do this and it works very effective. Now, what's the most beautiful thing is Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, um, all of these right now, TikTok is the new one. Guys, these are all free to create. So you need to create social media handles and accounts for all of your um, across the board for your um, your business. Very, very important. They're absolutely free to start. They're very easy to use. And this strategy that I'm going to share with you guys on Instagram applies the same across the board, right? So what we want to do, guys, and I'm going to show you guys on the desktop. Usually we use a phone for Instagram, but I'll show you guys on, it, on, on the uh, de uh, desktop we want to go to the search bar and this little TikTok toe sign is called a hashtag. And across the internet, this is how you find keywords, right? Is by using hashtags. So um, hypothetically, let's say that we're launching a yoga mat. We're in the yoga niche. We're launching a yoga mat and we're getting ready to do a launch. We, uh, we micro launched it. We micro tested it. It's doing phenomenally. Now it's time to pour gasoline on the fire and really scale this thing to the moon. So we want to start by going over to Instagram and by typing in yoga, what you're going to see is it's going to auto populate all of the different keywords or hashtags in chronological order from ascending to descending order. Meaning the one at the very top is the biggest keyword with the most amount of impressions, which just means the most amount of posts, the most amount of eyeballs on it. And if you scroll down, guys, it'll give you all these different ones. So I always tell people, don't start with long keywords. Start with the most used and most searched keyword, which is when you think of the product, it's going to be that word that you think of, right? So it wouldn't be titanium youth baseball bat. It would be baseball bat, right? So for this example, we're going to use yoga mat. And when you click on hashtag yoga, 
it's going to go ahead and populate all of these different influencers, all of these different photos of people who are using the hashtag yoga. Now, what we're looking for, guys, is influencers. Now, what is an influencer? An influencer is someone who specifically has uh, authority in an audience or for a particular niche or marketplace. So Steve is an influencer when it comes to eBay and thrifting and Poshmark, right? He's an influencer. He has dominated that niche. So we're looking for people who are dominating our niche, right? So we want to look for a cool picture and we want to hover over it, guys. And you can literally see the engagement, how many hearts that these photos are getting, how many comments are these photos getting. So sometimes you can gauge uh, based off of which one's great. I'm not sure why a lot of these are saying zero. Um, let's scroll to the top and let's click on this one here. So you simply want to click on a picture and then go directly to their page. And when you go to their page, it's going to show you how many followers they have, uh, so on and so forth. What I recommend for Instagram, guys, is you want to find influencers that have over 10,000 followers. Now, the reason why we're looking for influencers that have over 10,000 followers is because on Instagram, there are things called stories. These are stories right here. And the reason why we're looking for influencers with 10,000 plus followers is because on Instagram story, you have to have 10,000 followers in order to do what's called a swipe up. Some of you guys have been browsing through Instagram and you're seeing people say, swipe up, swipe up, maybe even Steve, right? And the reason why they're doing that is because you can send them to a website. Uh, let me exit out of this. So we want to find someone who's got over 10,000 followers. Very simple to do. 1300. Nope. Let's go back. And while you're doing this, guys, you're looking for someone who has 10,000 uh, 10, plus followers, and then you're going to simply message them. And I'll show you guys here in just a hot second. All right. $80,000. We just found a winner, right? So they're a yoga teacher. Actually, we can see yoga mats here in, in, their, um, in the videos. So in this picture, in this picture, in this video, they're actually using our product. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to click on the three dots and we're gonna hit message. Now I can't do this from desktop, but if you're on your phone, it will say message. And right here, you can also see their email. So if we hover over this and we right click, we can copy this and we can actually email them, right? So here's her email address. And if we're on phone, it'll say personal message or email. We choose personal message or email and we send them something along the lines like this. Hey, my name is Joshua Crisp. I'm getting ready to launch a yoga brand on Amazon and I have a yoga mat that we just tested that is doing phenomenally. I love your page, I love what you're doing and I see you're actually using a yoga mat and I would love to give you a complimentary product so you can use and you can test out but I would also like to create a relationship with you and I would like to promote my product to your audience and give your audience an amazing product at a killer price, a huge discount. Um, that way you can give back to your audience and we can create a business relationship that is mutually um, beneficial. And then you just simply say, Hey, if you're interested, let me know how much and let me know anything that you need from me. And nine times out of 10 guys, this is how they make money as influencers. You see, they don't even have a website. They just have their email address. They'll get back to you and they'll say, yeah, Hey, that sounds great. Send me over the link, send me over the picture and PayPal me 30 bucks and let's get started. And now you have a influencer relationship with someone who has 80,000 followers and their followers love yoga. So look at this guys, 5,000 likes, 1,800 likes. And in this picture, guys, she's actually using a yoga mat. So is it safe to say that if we send uh, traffic, if, if she goes and posts our yoga mat at a discount and says, hey, go to amazon.com and buy this yoga mat, it's a brand new, uh, brand new product and it's at a steep discount, do you think that their audience is going to want this product? Show me in the chat box down below, guys. Do you think that we're going to have raving fans coming to Amazon buying our product? And Steve, I can't see the chat right now, so hopefully um, people are starting to see the power in this. But absolutely, yeah. guys, we're literally finding our Dream 100 customers, and we're not trying to do it through actually guessing with advertising. We're going directly to them. We're finding our Dream 100 customers, and we're sending them directly to Amazon. So this is powerful for two reasons, guys. Number one, make sure you're writing this down, guys. Note takers are money makers. Number one, Amazon is a search engine just like Google. And if you guys know anything about SEO or search engine optimization, one of the easiest ways to rank or to increase your visibility is to get contextual links, right? If you're ranking a website on Google and you have another website that has authority pointing to your website, 
Google's going to show you some love. Well, Amazon's a search engine. So if we go all outside of Amazon's ecosystem and we're driving traffic outside of Amazon to Amazon, the algorithm knows that you're getting that traffic one of two ways. That's through sweat equity, meaning you're grinding, you're using your own organic audience, or number two, you're paying for it. So they're going to reward you more than if you some if you were running PPC and someone typed in yoga mat on Amazon and clicked on your listing and bought you're going to get one point for that, but you may get three to five points in that algorithm ranking system if someone goes from Instagram and then they go directly to Amazon. And I'm going to show you guys. Let's go over and hop over to Amazon. I'm going to show you another key. Uh, is it cool if I over deliver today, Steve? I don't know, man. We're going to have to ask the people in the comments right now. I can't see the comment, man, so you got to be my eyes and ears, man. Is it okay if we over deliver today? We had a whole bunch of people in the comments. Uh saying yes to your last question. Um, I forgot what you asked, but we had uh, the freak 297 saying hallelujah. <laughs> All right, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys another hack to increasing your ranking and skyrocketing your ranking within your uh, top performing keywords in Amazon. Is that cool? Let's do it. Let's go. All right. So let's say that this is our product, right? If this is our product on Amazon, this is the one that we've already launched. We tested. It's crushing it. Now we have this influencer deal and we want to drive traffic to Amazon and we want to blow this thing up. We want to rank our product and we want to be on that first page for this keyword. This is one of my favorite strategies. So if you go and you type in yoga mat here in the search bar, you can see that we have yoga mat. Now we're on our actual listing. If you Can you see up here, Steve, my URL? So in this URL, what I want you guys to see is keyword equals yoga mat. So now anytime we send this link, we condense it in um, a URL shortener like bit.ly, which is free, or Google URL shortener, which is free. What's going to happen is when someone on Instagram goes and clicks that link or swipes up on their story and goes to this listing, which is our listing, now we're going to rank for what? Yoga mat, which is the mm -hmm. highest searched highest impression money keyword. So now we're doing multiple things, guys. We're ranking for our keywords. We're crushing the algorithm, crushing our competition. We're ranking for those high search, high money keywords. And we're also, we're also getting brand notoriety and brand uh, depth of market on social media because now people on Instagram are going to start to see us because in our post, we're using hashtag Josh's yoga mat, hashtag Joshua crisp, hashtag Josh's Amazon product, whatever it is, we're using those hashtags, the little tic-tac-toe signs, which are keywords on Instagram and social media. So we're getting brand notoriety. People are starting to see us. People are starting to know us. We're also sending exterior-based traffic outside of Amazon to Amazon. So it's spiking our ranking and it's spiking our BSR and we're ranking for those money keywords. And now we have a relationship where we can do this once a month, once a quarter, once a year. And it's just like clockwork. And I'll give you guys another gem. Once we found one, guys, once you find one, it's always easy to find another one, just like products. Once you find one product, you find that supplier. Now it's easy to find that second product because we say, hey, send me that catalog. A little gem that I like to do, guys, is once you find an influencer, um, there's this old saying, birds of a feather flock together. So once you find one influencer, usually they know other influencers. So what I like to do, guys, is go to the following tab. And just by click clicking that, it's going to show us all these other people who they are following and vice versa. So you can see a lot of these people have blue checks, which means a lot of them are huge influencers. But we'll go through this and we'll actually click on some of their friends. And what do you know? This person's got 1,700 followers. And we'll literally just go through this whole process, uh, just like I showed you guys, clicking through people, trying to find someone who um, has uh, another influencer who has a bunch of followers. So here goes one right here, Bala. And it looks like Shop Bala Workouts. They have some products. I don't know what this is, but they've got 41,000 followers. So literally, we found one influencer. We go to following, and we just go down the list, scroll down the list, and find more influencers. And this is one of the cheapest ways, guys, to get highly semantically relevant traffic directly to your website. It, irregardless if it's a website, if it's Amazon, whatever it is, this is one of my biggest secret weapons. Let me see if I can pull me up, and I can show you that. This works for your personal brand. This works for your physical brands. Here I am right here. And if you click on, 
tagged, right? If you clicked on tag, these are all influencer partnerships that I have. So I'm using this in my physical brand. I'm using this in my personal brand. And this is how we grow our notoriety. This is how we grow wow. our brand notoriety. These are all pages this week, guys. I spend about $50,000 a week across my personal brand and my physical brand, guys. And we're literally, if you click on any of these, these are influencer pages. So New York City Black. Um, I don't even know who this is. Now, when you're doing influencer pages, you know how when you're doing like paid advertisements on like Facebook and Instagram, you can't have more than 20% text when you're doing influencer marketing, because I noticed some of your text is 40%. Uh, some of it, does that not matter? 40% text on the picture? Oh, you see that one's only like about 20%, but do you try to keep your text smaller and keep the picture bigger? Yeah. So this strategy, um, you can do two or three things. So for the personal brand, this is called a meme, which is a combination of your picture and your text. This works well for um, memes for personal brands. For our physical products, it would literally be a picture of a girl or a man using a yoga mat. And then up at the top, I may say, get 30% off um, this new and improved yoga mat click the link in the bio, right? So it really doesn't matter the the text, but you want the picture to take up, like you said, around 70%, brother. So for the for the memes, that's really the focus um, with more of like a personal brand. With, 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 would you ever do memes for product brands ever? Yeah, absolutely. I use them all the time because you got to understand, let me see if I can get this to pop up. When people are scrolling on Instagram, uh, let me see if I can get this to pop up. When people are scrolling on Instagram, what they're doing is they're going to the discovery page, right? So here's the discovery page. Um, so when we scroll down this discovery page, right? What I want you to notice is you don't know what this is about, but you can see this. Without me clicking on it, forget Netflix and chill. It's a motivational thing. So people are doing this when they're on the search. They're doing this. So the, the point of the meme is when people see your stuff is to be able to know what it is without actually clicking on it. Got it. So if there's a picture of, let's just say, let me see if I can find something that would resemble um, what we're using. If we showed a picture of, uh, let me see. If, if we show a picture like this is a Tumblr, right? Let's say that we launched a Tumblr, a stainless steel Tumblr, and we found an influencer to promote our stainless steel Tumblr. This just looks like a chick holding a Tumblr. But if we had some words up top that said 30% off this new improved Tumblr mm. and I'm scrolling and I know I like Tumblrs or I want to buy a Tumblr, gotcha. I'm going to click on this and then it's going to say, hey, I've partnered with Josh. He's got an amazing Tumblr. Click the link in the bio. And now they're going to go and they're actually going to click on it. You see what I'm saying? Gotcha. Gotcha. That's big. I hope everyone's you know, taking notes on this right now, because I'm telling you, this is an interesting method. Imagine being able to get into when you're advertising, it's not about just putting your message in front of a large audience. What's more important, more important is getting your message. I'd rather have my message in front of a small audience that's laser focused. For example, I'm selling a yoga mat. Maybe I get it in front of a couple thousand yoga mat fans. I'd rather have that than a hundred thousand random people. So this is huge. The value in this is just absolutely incredible. So Anybody who's watching right now, when you're in this launch phase and this launch last scale phase, go look for some influencers, put together a little script and just copy and paste it over. And obviously you want to switch up some words for each person. Um, and you could probably even have a virtual assistant help you if you wanted to. Um, but this is, this is awesome. Um, anything else you want to talk about with influencer marketing? Or do you want to move on to some more? Cause I've got a bunch of questions that I've gotten um, over the last 24 hours from people because, you know, everybody knew we were coming to this, this, this part of the workshop with the scale. So do you want to talk about anything else with influencer marketing or keep moving forward? Yeah, brother. So, um, so actually with influencer marketing, like we just hit on Instagram and we just scratched the surface. Like I said, guys, you can do this on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. And now the biggest one is TikTok, which is up and coming. This is five different ones. And That's another huge. one that people are sleep on, guys, is going to be uh, blogs. So a lot of people don't know what blogs are, but blogs are just websites where people blog or they write, around, write, write about specific topics. And then they use influencer marketing or they utilize affiliate marketing where they may do top 10 favorite products or top 10 best yoga products. And then they'll actually, you'll uh, pay for a slot on that. And one of those top 10 would be your yoga mat. And now they're writing about top 10 upcoming yoga mats or yoga gotcha. products. And you're on there. And in Google, when people say, what's the best yoga product or what's the best yoga mat? 
it's the SEO is going to find that blog. And then when they click on that blog and they read it, they see your price is aggressive. They see that your price, you're priced right. They see that yours may be better than the others or yours may be differentiated or you may add more value, so on and so forth. And then they click on that. And when they click on that, it's that URL that I showed you guys how to uh, create for that keyword. It's going to take you right to your Amazon listing. You're going to get that credit for that keyword. It's going to help your keyword ranking go up. And that is the like, it's the it's it's white hat. It's completely white hat. That's what Amazon wants you to do. Amazon does not want you to give away a hundred yoga mats for eight cents um, to spike the algorithm up because it's not sustainable and it's not a hundred percent white hat. They want real brands, real companies to be on Amazon using the platform how it's intended, right? Like Apple is never going to give away a hundred computers to rank on 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 Amazon. It's just not going to happen. So this is the way that the big companies do it. Um, they literally use influencers. Like if you think about Nike, when you think about Nike, who's who's some of the people that you think of, right? You think about LeBron James. You think about Michael Jordan back in the day, right? You mm. think about huge influencers. Think about it. When you think about Adidas, wh- who do you think about? You think of Kanye West. These are all influencers. So these large Fortune 500 companies are using influencer That's marketing, amazing. brand notoriety, and to push their product. So we're doing the same thing, but on a smaller scale. This isn't something new that you know. You're just making up right and testing out this is something that marketers and advertisers have been using for years and years this is just the current what's working method means you know to an end right now so that's huge now i do want to ask people right now if you have any questions for josh drop a question because i'm going to be choosing a couple questions to ask josh i'm going to pick a 25 dollar winner in the next 60 seconds. So ask a question. I'm gonna pick one of the best questions or just something that's very thoughtful right now. So any questions you have for Josh regarding skyrocketing and scaling and and growing your business on Amazon, ask away, I'm gonna pick a winner. But now I wanna ask you while people are asking uh, or, or dropping questions in the comments, what's one of the biggest mistakes that you've noticed your students friends of yours, colleagues, what's the biggest mistake people typically make when they get to this point? They've researched their product, they've sourced it, they've launched it, they're making sales, now they're scaling um, and they're really trying to increase the revenue to hopefully turn a profit and even increase that profit. What's a big, big, big mistake that people make? Uh, becoming complacent. Like Once you get to this phase, you're bringing in the dough, you're making some money. When you're skyrocketing and scaling this first product, you can make that three thousand a month, five thousand a month, ten thousand a month. Money's coming in. People become comfortable, um, and they become complacent. So I tell a lot of people to not be blinded by the success. Remember where you started. Remember why you started. Remember what your goals are, your ambitions are, and always stay hungry. That's one of the biggest issues. I struggle with this myself. Once I became successful, I found myself becoming complacent. So I recommend everybody once you find that one product, you launch that product, you rank that product. It's crushing it. Don't go out and buy the sports car and do all the crazy stuff. Put the money back into the business and remain humble, remain hungry. That's one of the biggest issues. Uh, people rather spend the money um, not um, smartly, right, by putting it back into the business, or they get comfortable and they don't go back to plan A and scale more products. So understand that the skyrocket and scale is not only for the independent product and the company, but it's the company as a whole. So once you do this and you have that product at its ceiling, and you're on the first page and sales are coming in, it's time to cycle those profits right back into a new product and rinse and repeat like a hamster on a hamster wheel. Awesome. That's great advice, Josh. Congratulations to Courtney Cross for you know playing full out right now. Courtney, you just won $25 PayPal stimulus plan. And uh, that $25 is going to be coming directly to you. What I need you to do is send an email to rakeandprofit at gmail.com. Take a screenshot from your YouTube so we know it's you and who could verify it. And you are a winner. So congratulations, Courtney. Courtney, Congrats. I have a question for you, Josh. Uh, Courtney wants to know, what do you pay an influencer on average? Great question. So it depends on the size of the influencer um, nine times out of 10 in reference to the price. But on average... For influencers that have under a hundred thousand, between ten to a hundred thousand, for one post, it's usually around thirty bucks. Um, what I like to do is I like to do the post. 
I like to do the link in bio and I like to do the story with the swipe up. So that's three different assets on their page. And usually for that, it's between 50 to a hundred dollars. But again, if you're making $10 profit per unit, you only need to sell 10 to break even. Yeah, that's crazy. And even if you just break even with your campaign, you got to think like this amateurs monetize the front end experts monetize the back. So let's say worst case scenario, which is very hard to do that. You only break even and sell those 10 units. Those are 10 customers outside of Amazon that came and purchased your product. And that keyword, you grab that URL, how I showed you guys, you're getting that juice for that keyword and your, your ranking is skyrocketing. And the way you make all your money with Amazon guys is off of organic purchases, which means mm. you're not running PPC, you're not running giveaways, you're not running campaigns or ads or anything like that. People are going to Amazon, they're typing in yoga mat and they're clicking your product. That's where you make all the money. So a lot of the big guys, including myself, what I do is I focus on driving as much traffic and as much marketing to my products for my money keywords to rank organically, meaning to show up uh, in the search results without any type of sponsored ads, right? Yeah. And that's where you make all your money. This is all the upfront work that we've been talking about. And this is what we love about this business model. It's so different than going to thrift stores and garage sales or estate sales, or even models such as online arbitrage or retail arbitrage. Those models are fantastic. I love them. I still do them, but you, you never really, how do I say it? Like you're always kind of like running on that wheel, right? Like the hamster, like you might pick up some speed for a while, but things are going to slow down. You're always having to go find that next deal. You're putting in the upfront work right now with influencer um, influencers to, to almost rev up the engine, rev up the engine to have Amazon recognize you through, you know, selling your product and ranking. Because eventually, once you get that ranked on that first page, you're going to get all those sales coming in. You're going to get more reviews. It's going to be harder for competitors to take you out. And once you get up there and, you, you, you know, if you create a really great product and you're creating great customer service, it's almost passive income in a sense in a sense. And you're just at that point when you get it ranked and I hate to use the word passive income because it's like you had to put so much work in beforehand. But once you get to that point where it's ranked, you've got reviews, you're kicking your competitors butts. It's up there. It's selling 10, 20, 30, 40 per day. What do you have to do to maintain that? It's just a matter of just reaching out to your supplier to order more. Is that your main focus at that point when you've scaled that up, you've got that puppy I was going to say that puppy purring, but that <laughs> forget it. But once you get that, once you get it going and flowing, is it just a matter of just keeping your reviews high and just, you just keep reordering to make sure you don't run out of inventory? Absolutely. That's your main concern. That's your main task, What you're doing within your dashboard, your seller central dashboard underneath inventory management. You're also doing on your phone through the seller central app. You're just doing what's called inventory uh, forecasting. So you're looking at the average units that you're selling. You're multiplying that out by the amount of days that it takes for you to receive your product. That way you don't run out of inventory. Here's a fantastic question from B. And you know what, B? I'm throwing that's it. The, pay the PayPal stimulus plan is coming back out again. B, $25 to you. All right. I need you to send me an email, rankingprofit at gmail.com. Take a screenshot from inside of YouTube so we can verify you. And uh, that's the second winner. B, I really want to congratulate you, um, you know, with this prize because you've been participating all four days. Great question from B asking, how long should you have a product selling before you start going after influencers? Yeah. So you could do two things. You could do this in the beginning during the launch phase when you're doing the micro launch, and you can also do this during the skyrocket and scale. So there's no specific amount of sales or specific amount of days, but in the micro launch phase, you want to remember that you want to do this without losing a ton of money. You want to pretty much go solely off Amazon's algorithm, but I do this in the launch phase um, as well as really once we get those five days of consecutive sales, then we go ahead and apply that to skyrocket the, uh, the brand on the back end. We're getting some great questions coming in right now. We have almost 70 people watching live right now. So if you have a question, drop a question down below. This is the last workshop video leading up to the webinar going down May 12th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. First link in the description, limited seats, no replay. Everything you're learning on workshop one, two, three, and today on workshop number four is leading up to the 12th. Make sure to sign up. But Fat Man the Flipper is asking, is this strategy used solely for private label or privately branded products, AKA your brand? So you touched on a little bit 
prior, um, you said they use this a little bit for your personal brand. Can you use this for all different types of models um, outside of? Yeah, it doesn't market? matter what you're trying to promote. This works for everything. It's been my secret weapon for Amazon. I developed this uh, because of Amazon because some of the products I was testing, if you remember my failed products were very competitive and I was losing my rear end with CPCs or cost per clicks and ACOS being average cost of sale. I was getting slaughtered trying to learn PPC on my own. So I had to think outside the box and find ways to drive traffic to my listing to increase my ranking. Um, but with my brand, like we've got 200 and I think almost 50,000 followers on Instagram, the same on Facebook. I've used about 70% of that in my personal brand has been from influencers. So in influencers on YouTube, influencers on Snapchat, on TikTok, on Facebook, on Instagram. And it works the same way. Like instead of, if you're launching a yoga mat, instead of going trying to find yoga influencers, um, if you're in entrepreneurship like I am, you would go and try to find like an entrepreneurship motivation page. And you would literally just go and do the same thing. Like I showed you guys with the memes, you would showcase pictures of yourself, pictures of your services, whatever it is that you're trying to promote. But it doesn't matter what your business is. If you have a restaurant, you can do this for a restaurant. You can do this for a personal brand. You can do this for your Amazon products. It's my secret weapon. Very cool. What else do people need to pay attention to when they're going through this scaling phase? So we talked about PPC. We talked about influencer marketing. How important is it to get reviews? And do you have any advice for that? Because I know that's really important on Amazon. Yeah, absolutely. Reviews are huge because they are what's called social proof, right? Nobody wants to be first. No one wants to be last. And reviews are a huge, um, uh, uh, a huge thing with Amazon. So when you're micro launching your product, one of the ways that we get our reviews is by using the Amazon early review program. So in Seller Central on your dashboard, you're literally going to click on um, advertising underneath that. You'll see early review program. You can pay 60 bucks and get five reviews directly from Amazon where they will incentivize buyers to actually leave a review. So that's how you get your first five reviews. But when you're in the skyrocket and scale phase and you're trying to get more reviews, what we utilize is, let me see if I can find one laying around here. I usually have them laying around. We utilize little cards like this, little package stuffers like this that go in our box and we will just solely ask for a review. Now, Amazon's TOS or their terms of service states that you cannot incentivize, which means you can't say, leave me a five-star review and I'll give you 10% off or I'll give you a free product, but you can ask for a honest review. Mm -hmm. And if you do this right, it works in your favor. And this is how you do it. This is the magic. Um, in the package stuffer, you'll ask for an honest review and you'll have a smiley face, right? You'll have a smiley face and that smiley face will say, fully satisfied, please share with customers. This helps our family owned business thrive on Amazon. And then you'll have a sad face. Uh, things didn't work out, product came uh, um, broken, something malfunctioned, something didn't work and it didn't, the product didn't meet your expectations. Email us at joshesbrand at support.com and we will thoroughly replace you one or refund, uh, refund your order and make sure that this is right because customer service is the most important thing. So when you do that, even if they're upset and something happened, they're going to go through the customer support service. They're going to get a new product and then they're going to see that you cared about them um, and that you're a real company and they will usually leave you a positive review. Awesome. Awesome. Um, we have a question, a lot of questions about the influencer marketing. So I, I really do believe you added and uh, over delivered on the value of the influencer marketing. And I really do hope I keep, I keep saying this, um, but I really hope that everybody takes this to heart because the opportunity with influencer marketing, with your personal brand, with your product that you're selling on Amazon, with local businesses. I mean, it is huge and people just aren't utilizing it. So I'm, gr I'm glad we're getting a lot of great questions. Um, we got a question asking how many influencers, influencers do you suggest per product? So that's great. So let's just say we're launching a yoga mat. Um, I would say the first thing probably is to consider is your budget, right? Depending on what your budget is. So maybe you could touch on what a budget would, you know, maybe someone has $5,000 in total. They've spent, you know, maybe 1500, 2000 already. They have $3,000 left. They do have to consider that they're going to be reordering products at a time. Um, at some time in the future, they, you know, they're going to have marketing PPC. So how do you kind of figure out your budget and then go after like trying to determine how many influencers to go after? Yeah, absolutely. So the main thing here is, is your budget number one. And then the next main thing is what are you doing the influencer uh, marketing for? Are you doing it to increase keyword rank? Are you doing it to get visibility on a new product? Are you doing it to remain 
or to keep the velocity of sales or your BSR? Are you doing it? Everything is good on Amazon. Are you doing it just for brand notoriety? Are you trying to build your, your um, social media presence? Identify what you're doing it for. Um, but there is never enough. There's never enough. Like I run, <laughs> I run a crap load. I run 100, 200 influencers a week. Um, wow. So the more is better. But the most important thing is to just make sure that you start, identify what, you, what you're doing it for. Are you doing it for the presence? Are you doing it for the following, the notoriety, the keyword ranking? What is it that you're doing it for? And then come up with a budget um, that, that suits you, right? So there's no specific number, but the more the better. Yeah, get started. Think of it as a learning experience. You, once you learn that skill and as your, um, as your brand and as your product begins to scale, you can invest more and more money into it. And, um, you know, it goes on from there. So I love how you mentioned the fact that, you know, driving traffic from outside sources is really going to help with that ranking. And, and that's something really underutilized on all platforms. So that's huge. If anyone else has any more questions, feel free to ask away. It looks like uh, Kazawi GGS is asking, how long does the whole process take from finding a product till launching it on Amazon? So yeah, uh, Kazawi, I, I highly recommend watching our first video workshop number one, because we talked about the research phase and we kind of covered um, a lot of this in, in, in two, three, and now four. But um, on average, how long does it take from go to go from like, uh, you know, step one research to this final launch scale phase? About 12 weeks, 10 to 12, 12 weeks. weeks. Awesome. Very cool. Um, let's see. Does influencers play the role of a potential buyer or value added to the product? Uh, does influencers play a role of the potential buyer? So, well, they, yeah, that's a, a kind of a tough question to answer. I, I'm not exactly sure what it means. So if you look at it like their audience may buy your product because they're raving fans of the influencer and the influencer is um, promoting the product. So that may have some of it to do with it. They may also do it because they love the product, they need the product, and it's a good price. So there's emotional buyers and there's data-driven buyers. So it's a little bit of both, if if I felt that was the right, right answer. Awesome, awesome. So hopefully everybody found a lot of value in this video. Do you have any last words or advice for the folks who have gone through this 100% free workshop? They've gone through the research phase. They've gone through the sourcing on Alibaba. They've gone through the micro launch. And now we talked and touched on the scaling phase. And again, I know a lot of people are probably like, well, there's more, I, I need more questions. There's a lot of stuff you guys didn't cover. Like, why didn't you cover this and that? We only have so much time on this workshop. And that's why we're doing the webinar on May 12th at rakeandprofit.com slash FBA training. But any final words of wisdom you can give to the folks? Because you literally went from making $7.25 an hour, working as a temp, living in a 400 square foot apartment. I hate to kind of throw you under the bus, but the reason I share that is because I feel like we can all connect. I mean, when I was 21, I was arrested. I was $23,000 in debt, living home with my parents. Like, man, we've been, <laughs> we've been there. Like we get it, you know? And it's like, I, I like to follow people who have actually been in the trenches and like things weren't going well for them and they found a way out, right? They didn't have like some rich uncle give them all this money to throw at PPC or something, or you know what I mean? Have a business yeah, passed absolutely. down. So what final words of wisdom can you give, man? Yeah, I would, I would just say just to take action, man, to start small. Don't compare your chapter one to someone chapter, someone's chapter 12. Just get started. Take your time. Love the grind. Love the hustle. Don't have unrealistic expectations when starting out. Understand this is a real business. Give it your all. And if you fall, get back up because a failure is a form of progression. It's not a true failure unless you don't start or you give up. Right. And just remember, you guys are one product away. My first three products failed. The fourth one changed my life. Um, and the first product that people find that come through the training, that first product changes their life. So if this is something that you're interested in, something that you see like, hey, you know what? I think I could do this. I think this is something I want to learn more about. I highly urge you guys to sign up for the free training at rakeandprofit.com forward slash FBA training. Show up. If you show up, you're going to go up. It's absolutely free. You have nothing to lose and potentially everything to gain. And remember, guys, you're only one product away. Awesome. So these workshop videos are available. I just checked. It's going to be about three, three to four more days, three and a half days, something like that until uh, the workshop videos are going to be going down. So enjoy workshop one, two, three, and four over the next three, four days uh, leading up to the workshop, May 12th, that will not be on YouTube. So if you're just following on YouTube now and you're not on the email list, you've got to make sure to jump on it. So 
Um, if you're already on the email list, you'll learn more about the workshop as well, uh, the, the free training as well. But go to rakenprofit.com slash FBA training. Make sure you reserve your seat. Um, we'll be sending you some messages to make sure um, you know that you remember to show up and whatnot. Um, but yeah, congratulations to everybody who's been, there's a lot of familiar faces I see in all of these uh, workshop videos. So, you know, just congrats, right? Congrats to everybody who went through and invested in themselves, especially when we're in a when we're in a time now where there's a lot of people who are panicking and freaking out and making up excuses. And, you know, I don't blame people, right? I'm not here. I'm not judging anybody. Um, but it just says a lot about somebody's character when they're able to show up to go up when things are tough and, and things are hard, right? I believe a man and a woman's character is judged when times are tough. It's easy to have a smile on your face and it's easy to take action when everything's going well. But when you don't have a lot of money in your bank account or you're struggling or, you know, there's all this stuff going on where people can't leave the house. When someone shows up to something like this and invests in themselves, that's when you know they're ready to break through. So Absolutely. Just, just congrats, you know, everybody for, for just coming and showing up. And um, Josh, I appreciate you coming on and sharing so much knowledge during this workshop. And I uh, just want to thank everybody. We'll see you on the webinar May 12th. First link in the description. Josh, I appreciate awesome. you, brother. I appreciate you too, man. Remember guys, there's an old Chinese proverb that says those who say they can't and those who say they can are both right. So the enemy is in the enemy. And if it's meant to be, it's up to me. So guys, you can do this. I did this. Steve did this. Hundreds and thousands across the globe have done this. You can do this too. Just don't give up. Yeah. And on the webinar, you'll be learning about hundreds of other people and real stories. Oh, man. And actually one of Josh's, um, we were talking behind the scenes, we're going to have hopefully one of your students come on as well and maybe chit chat a little bit about their experience. So come on, it'll be a great learning experience. There's going to be a lot of stuff leading up and building upon everything you learn. So with that being said, have an amazing day, stay safe, and we'll see you guys on the webinar. Thanks, Josh. Thank everyone for watching.